Hello there, I am Christopher Small and I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. Thank you for visiting my website and thank you for considering using us for your estate planning needs. If you are watching this video then you are on my about page. I thought the uh, one of the best ways or one of the most fun ways for me to do this was to create a little video that tells you a little bit about me, uh, about my firm, about why I do this and what motivates me to show up every day and, and help my clients. So. Uh, this is a PowerPoint, or this is a presentation that I did for a professional group that I'm a part of. We do little introductions, and I thought it would be a great uh, sort of introduction for me to you. So again, thank you for being here. Please, please consider us for um, for helping you with your estate planning needs. Uh, we would love to do it, and I guarantee you, you will have the best service you've ever you've ever experienced. You will have the best results you've ever experienced, and we'll get to know each other for life. So on that note, please enjoy uh, the presentation, my presentation about me. Hello, hello, and welcome to uh, the introduction of me and my law firm, right? Introduction to Christopher Small and CMS Law Firm. So I'm the owner of this firm, and uh, you're gonna learn a lot about me and a lot about this firm as we go through this little presentation. It's probably gonna be Oh, only five or six, seven minutes, so it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hard hitting. But by the end, you'll know a lot about me. You know a lot about my firm. You'll know a lot about why I do what I do, and you will hopefully be compelled to consider using us for your estate planning services because that's why we're here. That's why I do this is to help people to create legacy, to create generational wealth, to protect families. To do all that, uh, eliminate estate taxes, you know, basically help you reach your goals. That's what we do. So let's just dive right in. First, Christopher, me. I was born and raised in Junction City, Kansas, which is that red dot there, a small town in a, in a uh, big state, uh, farming community. Uh, we were raised, I was, I was, uh, Junction City is about 30,000 people. And, uh, you know, I had a good childhood raised by my, my mom and my stepdad. Super fun time. A uh, bunch of brothers and sisters hanging out and uh, played sports, did all that kind of fun stuff. And uh, really enjoyed my childhood. It was great. No big deals, no problems, nothing to complain about, nothing that was driving to the law or anything like that. Just sort of a, a growing up in a small town, you know, and, and uh, in the Midwest. It's kind of what you would think it would be. When uh, I turned 18, Went to KU, University of Kansas, that's a Jayhawk, it's a baby Jay, and uh, pursued my undergraduate degree, got my degree in psychology with a minor in political science, and I uh, really didn't know what I was going to do. I, I didn't know, I, uh, uh, I thought I wanted to be in psychology, but I wasn't sure. You know, I, was, I was 22 when I graduated from college, so I had no idea what I wanted to do. Uh, I thought the law would be cool, I thought that uh, lawyers were cool on TV, and I thought it'd be fun. So I, I took a look, applied, and was accepted. So I went from being a baby Jayhawk to a big Jayhawk. So I decided to go to the uh, University of Kansas Law School. One of the reasons why I did that was because uh, at, by that time I'd met my wife. I met her when I was a senior in college. She was finishing her senior year of college, my first year of law school, and then she went to graduate school at KU as well. And so uh, staying at KU was a pretty easy choice. Uh, for me, family is super important, and uh, I knew this girl was, was really special, and I, I kind of wanted to, to stick around and, and uh, see where it was going to go. Now, um, if, you, if you saw the little intro video and you saw my face, if you've seen pictures of me, you may think that I am tw like 25 years old. In fact, I'm 36 at the time of recording this video, 2017, and so you may call me the Doogie Hauser of of, uh, of law, actually the anti duty Hauser, because I'm not actually that young, I just look young. So I've been practicing for uh, 12 years at this point, and uh, been, been, uh, been, doing it, been at it for a while. So uh, even though I look young, I still have a wealth of experience, and bring a lot to the table, and just, it's important to say, because when I always see people for the first time, they always wonder, you know, how old are you? How long have you actually been practicing law? And so, you know, the reason I, I 
have to tell you this is just because it's a fact. I look young. It's cool. No worries. Now, so that's me. In a nutshell, very, very, very short uh, synopsis of me, but uh, that the, the telling you about the genesis of CMS Law Firm will tell you a lot more about me and my growth and what I've done since um, graduating from law school. So I graduated from law school in 2005, worked in Kansas uh, for those three years doing a, a couple of different things. I worked for a, a small firm in a really small town, did some insurance defense for a while, and then I was the eminent domain attorney for the Kansas Department of Transportation for about a year and a half, which was a super cool job. Uh, got to meet fun people and, and do some really fun things. I love that. But then 2008 came along, and 2008, we packed up our bags, and we moved to Seattle. We moved to Seattle because my wife got a job out here with the University of Washington. She was working at KU in the athletic department, and she, uh, to move up in the athletic department, you often have to move out. And so I, by that time, knew I wanted to start a law firm. Uh, I didn't know anyone anywhere else, being having been born and raised in Kansas, but I was totally okay with uh, picking up and going wherever we, we wanted to go, as long as I got the opportunity to try to start my own firm. Uh, it's something that I've got the bug, you know. I love... Um, um, sort of um, creating my own destiny. I love being able to um, make things happen quickly. I love being in, in charge and in control of customer experience because I think it's critically important. And I wanted to be able to just see if I could do it. So Allison got a job at UW in the athletic department. We moved out here in 2008 and started a CMS law firm at that time. As you can see, this is my very, very first business card. So way back in the day, the phone numbers don't work anymore. The, uh, the address is not the same. I was pitching eminent domain and criminal defense at that time. And uh, it was a, a wild ride. You know, 2008, the economy was not amazing, but I was determined and uh, excited. So we came out here and I started building something, you know? And I did, I did a good job. You know, we were doing, um, at the end of the day, the eminent domain stuff kind of went away. But we were doing uh, criminal defense, we were doing personal injury, the traffic tickets, um, things like that. Doing that for a few years and built up the firm to, to uh, a pretty respectable position. We were doing very well, in fact. Uh, the business was going very, very well. Um, I, I, you know, you put a lot of emphasis on client service, client experience, and client results, and you do well. And that's what we did. And we experienced the um, fruits of our labor, as they say. But but uh, you know things started changing. You know the gears were turning for me. I was I was um, growing sort of um, bored with with that that those areas of the law. Uh, I think that there are going to be some problems with them in the future from a business perspective, and they just didn't really. Sp speak to me and give me that sort of inner motivation that I wanted. You know, one of the reasons why I wanted to create my own business was to um, have something that could last a long time, you know, to build something up that would that would really help people and, and um, promote the things that I was interested in. And those areas of law just, just didn't do that for me. You know, I love business. I love um, everything that goes with that. And so I started looking around and started thinking about what other areas of the law will afford me to you know, be my highest and best self, give my best to my clients, and also serve the people that I'm interested in serving. Because you know, I own this joint, I want to do what, what, uh, what I'm good at and what helps the most people. So I started thinking about that and then you know, things changed. Things changed for the better. Uh, some, some, a new person came into my life. Blakely, this is my daughter. Um, when she was born, things really, really changed for me. Um, you know, they say you don't know true love until you have a child, and, and that's true. And but a bunch of other things really came into really clear uh, vision for me when she was born, and that included legacy. And that included 
you know, wanting really wanting to pass down my values and, and create something that lasted longer than me and longer than her even. So I started thinking really about how how can we do that? You know, where 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 did all of these interests intertwine? And I started thinking about what was really important to me. You know, what was really, you know, really what was important. Not having a nice house or having a nice car or anything like that. But what was really, what really, really mattered for me, you know, and that was, that was family, that was um, legacy, that was um, generational wealth, it was creating generational businesses. Um, all these things started coming into to, to real clarity for me, and uh, you know, the direction that I wanted to go became relatively clear, relatively, relatively fast, and relatively easily. And then this guy came around. Uh, Piper is in the back. This is Jackson. Jackson is uh, is my second child, and as you can see, he's awesome, super cute, likes the rain boots. Uh, and so when he came along, you know, there was just another push there, another push to to uh, really start taking action. And I also realized, you know, look, it's time for a change. Uh, it's time to act now. Stop waiting. Stop putting this off. You know what you want to do, you just go and do it. And so I did. I sold uh, my interest in the other firm, and I transitioned into estate planning uh, 100%. And I've been doing that for a while. And then baby Dylan showed up. Third and final kid, but he's super cute, if you couldn't tell. Um, and by this time, you know, it was 100% clear what was important to me in my life and, and what I wanted to pursue and and what I wanted to do and that was that was family right um, providing protection for families providing opportunity for families showing people how they can use the things that they have now to create generational wealth to really truly empower the next generation without uh, creating trust fund babies right to do all of these fun um, things to help not only my family but to help the families of my clients. Uh, money, right? Um, whether or not you like money, I love money, okay? Uh, money empowers you to do many, many things, right? It's a tool. So um, teaching people how to grow it and how to leverage it to do the things that they want, to, again, provide opportunity down the road for their children and for their grandchildren and for their great-grandchildren, but again, without creating trust fund babies. Legacy. Legacy is extremely important to me. And for me, legacy really falls outside of the monetary realm. For me, legacy means passing down your traditions, passing down your values, passing down your morals. You know, there, this, this country is built on immigrants. This country is built on the hard work of prior generations. And I want to be able to help families preserve those stories and preserve the lessons learned from and the sacrifices made by earlier generations if people want right and all of this still goes to look I want to do what's right for the people that are my clients I want to give them what they what they what they want and what they need but these are the things that are available out there for you if you're interested so legacy was critically important to me and then endless opportunity you know um, there are things that you can do via estate planning um, and via just sort of general financial planning to create opportunities down the line for your kids and your grandkids and your great grandkids. And what I mean by this is, you know, imagine having a great grandchild that is shows a real talent for music or a real talent for sports and being able to help them uh, foster that talent and grow that talent and pursue that talent without having to worry about money getting in the way, which means you know going to the good schools, uh, participating in the good groups, traveling when necessary to um, hone those skills. That's what I mean by endless opportunity. And estate planning affords uh, people the ability to do that. And that's how we get to estate planning, right? It covers those three areas. Now, oh, estate planning covers three areas, excuse me. Who helps you when you can't help yourself? 
right? This is power of attorney, medical power of attorney, these kinds of things. So estate planning, believe it or not, actually covers you while you are alive. You know, how do you contribute to the success of your family when you are here, right? This is trust planning, it can be some things like that. And then how do you contribute to the success of your family when you are gone? This goes to legacy, this goes to opportunity. Uh, again, this involves trust planning and, and things of that nature. You know, uh, estate planning is not just about moving your assets down. It's not just about tax avoidance. It's about the bigger picture and being able to um, utilize your lessons and your hard work to empower future generations to become better. And I'd love to tell you about all of these things. I'd love to tell you about the way that I can help you with all of these. But we're out of time. I told you this is going to be a short video. It's just an introduction. If you want to know more, you can uh, come and talk to me. You can call me. 206-651-1512. Wait, 206-659-1512. Don't even know my own phone number. Or you can go to my website, cmslawfirm.com. You're already here. You look around the Rich Life Lawyer Show. Uh, you can go to my YouTube channel as well. I've got some, um, you can see all the videos there that I've made. There's some longer form content. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff that's on there. And um, I hope you really enjoy this. One of the other things that you can do too that I don't have on here, um, but that I could probably just type in, is um, I'm doing a, a webinar that you can you can take a look at. That is going to be at um, we'll just call it. We're just going to pull back the curtain here, right? CMSLawFirm.com forward slash. I don't know what should we call it webinar for now that'll just redirect where we need it to go but please take a look at that if you're interested uh, that's where we're going to talk about sort of these three secrets three keys to protecting your family and giving them the life that you want them to have all right that's it thank you so much for your time I really appreciate you being here and learning a little bit about me and my firm I would love to help you and the next step is for you to take the next step and reach out and say hello set up a time for us to talk and we'll go from there so thank you so much talk to you soon